Greetings and salutations guys, it's Off Grid Warrior and uh, today has been a good, good day. Anytime uh, you can move six logs um, in our terrain by hand, no heavy equipment, uh, is a good day. Uh, we're at the end of our day. Most uh, of today's consisted of cutting, dragging, setting up uh, cable, running cable, setting up snatch blocks several different times. Um, now we're at that time of the day we need to get these logs, the fruits of our work, um, down to the cabin bowl, closer to the cabin. That's what we're doing now. And I'm going to prove to you, you don't need heavy equipment to move big-ish logs. The logs we're moving today are 21 feet. This is the last one of the day. And uh, just to give you a quick rundown on how we're doing this, I've got uh, several snatch blocks that I use on chains uh, and uh, cable obviously and with uh, a few snatch blocks we pretty much able to get anywhere we want to in this uh, this here forest so um, right now I'm going to give you a little quick show on how we I say we because Mrs. Off Grid Warrior is with me today helping out I'm lucky enough um, how we move move these logs, mostly by hand, but you know, let's face it, I'm not dragging these logs downhill by hand. I need a little bit of help, and uh, the old truck does a good job. So this is a five sixteenths chain, and uh, and uh, with these chain hooks. And I tell you what, uh, these things are a godsend. Uh, they're probably one of the most valuable bits of equipment tool that we use out here in this build. I have several of these chains and 20 foot is probably the longest that I found I needed. And this is a 20 footer right here and I have a few shorter ones. Make sure that's nice and tight on there. And uh, chains, hooks, cables, um, uh, the snatch blocks. Uh, I tell you what, without those uh, we would not be moving logs around here. So let's uh, move this along. Thank you and uh, get on with it. Last log of the day, we're ready to call it quits. Uh, tomorrow we'll be uh, probably dragging these closer, at least three of them, closer to the cabin, peeling and uh, getting a couple of them up onto the platform. Maybe I'll take a video of that and uh, show you guys how we actually move the logs closer to the, the cabin and, um, and how we get them up there. My little uh, cable cable system, overhead cable system. I think we're digging quite a nice little uh, furrow in the road here. Well, it's uh, that time of the day, guys. Moving more logs and uh, we're just continuing this video with uh, how are we moving our logs for our off-grid uh, cabin build uh, without any heavy equipment. So, uh, you can see right now these are some of the big boys we uh, cut down a few days ago and uh, it's time to get them moved so you can see I have a chain on there run to uh, this cable and uh, I tell you what like I mentioned the snatch blocks and cable uh, you can do quite a bit of work uh, you guys can see that the older style uh, snatch block and uh, we have the cable going back down Another snatch block on the tree over there and then to the back of the truck. And uh, right now we're just going to drive the truck down the hill using a little bit of gravity assist with the truck. And uh, we're going to drag the log along here. The plan is uh, today we want to get two those two big boys sitting right there. We want to get them over here. That's going to take uh, two, two different points of pull once we uh, get one log over here. Or both logs laying here, we'll then rehook up to the uh, snatch block on the cable above here, above the cabin, and then uh, try and pull it and wedge it and get them laying down here where we'll peel. You can see we've got a lot of bark laying here. We'll do our peeling, and then once they're peeled, we'll attempt to pick up. So that's the plan. Let's uh, let's give it a try. Let's see how this works. Ok, 
Okay. Okay, go for it. Well, I'll stand by you with the old PV. Uh, just in case we need to roll some lugs out of the way. There she goes. Okay, stop. Right now, guys, I'm going to put the uh, camera down. I need to roll this uh, the lug uh, out of the way of these two here and keep on pulling. So, stand by. Rolled lug, and uh, we're going to continue going. There we go. We get her up. Okay, stop. What I do at this point now, the fact that it's uh, pitched up like that, I'm gonna try and get it a push. Uh, we're gonna push it a little forward here, my manpower. Then I'm gonna rechain it, uh, put the chain down, probably closer to the center, and uh, then we'll attempt to pull again to get it a little bit further. So let me set, uh, set up. Gonna move this chain. Further down the log. And uh, we'll give it another pull, get it even closer. Okay. Okay, and we'll probably do it uh, one more time, guys, before we work on that next log. matters the size of the stick your dog's always gonna want to play stick right well at least this one okay I'm gonna roll it out the way okay okay good And this is why a PV is your friend uh, when it comes to moving logs. Uh, this log here, I'm just going to move it by hand um, and try and get in position, but I'm going to use the wonderful PV to do so. Okay, this guy, however, uh, will be hooking up to the cable, so let's get ready for that. Thanks, PV. Okay, guys, uh, final pull to get uh, these logs closer to the cabin. Uh, this one now is hooked up to uh, the cable pulley that I have uh, up in the air there. It's onto a snatch block, and 
we're going to uh, give it a pull and manhandle it over this log somehow and then perhaps bring the butt end up here. Um, we've got to be careful because we've done this a couple of times and I've lost control of the log and almost sent it smashing into the underside of the cabin and hitting the, the uh, pier over there. So uh, uh, we don't want that to happen again. So we do this in small increments. Definitely don't want to uh, <laughs> take out one of the forms. These logs are heavy, guys. So nice and slowly. Try and keep it uh, under control. Okay. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay, let's reverse. I'll hook it up in the middle and we'll try and pivot. Point, we're just gonna put one PV on it and uh, or perhaps PV it down on the bottom there. I think you want to, I think uh, that'll be a good pivot point right there. Well, now's the boring part. We're gonna peel. We're gonna peel these uh, bad boys. And if you find yourself building a cabin off grid by hand, I tell you now, peeling is not gonna be the most favorite part of this, but gotta do it. We'll revisit later when we uh, get these uh, logs up, all right? Cheers. Okay, guys, so. Uh, uh, several hours later and uh, lunch in our bellies and peeled logs uh, We're ready to uh, do our lift uh, To get these guys onto the platform So um, as you can see Got the uh, standard normal hookup. I'm using here right in the center Okay on the cable and uh, You can see I have uh, hopefully you can see that two snatch blocks on a de-shackle and uh, I have the cable uh, coming from one tree in there to this tree up here okay and uh, so now let's get things are getting a little sketchy with uh, logs this size and pulling them this high so uh, we're gonna try something new here and I uh, have not done this one before but we're gonna try and get that log uh, up turned and uh, I may it's going to take a few a few turns to get it in here and uh, perhaps bring it in through the door seat it and then do our lift up onto the wall from this position as opposed to there you know we are uh, uh, having some problems with uh, as the walls get higher is uh, managing that log up here so with our setup you know we're making do with what we have so uh, try something new so 
So I'll set you guys up and uh, we'll start from there. Okay. Got the old hard hat. There's something worrying about working underneath stuff like that with these logs. Try and protect the noggin. Okay, so ready to give it a try? Okay, so we've reorganized here. Our snatch blocks are a little off center here, but that's okay. And now uh, we're going to do a slow pull and try and manage this log. Okay. Go. Okay, so stop. Now what I'm shooting to huh, is hopefully get the log to rest on the wall there. Okay, reverse slow. Slow. Okay, so may not be perfect or pretty, but uh, no fingers, limbs, bones have been broken. <laughs> That's good. So at this point, it's all just PV and uh, rolling, and uh, it's going to be interesting once we get a little bit higher. But uh, yeah, there you have it. Right, I've got another one of these to do, guys, and uh, I'm just going to focus on doing that. And uh, less show and more work so uh thanks for watching cheers